I have to find the man. But can I just ask, so <laughs> that kind of person that would just disappear out of the blue like that, would you not think the woman would know the kind of person that she is before sleeping with him? It should, it should. But my, my question, because you're saying it's a mandatory thing to do the test, if you do the test for, for when a child is born, how are you going to know if the father is not around and they has disappeared? To be, I mean, to be honest with you, I hate this, it sounds bad, but it's just too bad. Because, okay, I heard that they're going to introduce this kind of law in the US and parts of Jamaica as well, where it's mandatory DNA test thing. And funnily enough, people who are involved in the child support industry are up in arms about it. And when you actually dig deeper, the reason why is because a, a lot of women, and I'm not saying this is representative of all women, but there are a lot of women out there who essentially use these men to get a certain amount of money every month from the man in child support and they go and spend it on themselves, essentially. And so what this does, this kind of draws a line in the sand where we're saying, this person's not the father.